Okay, ready? Yo, it's <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> 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 Heathens World Headquarters right here in Fort McMurray, Alberta, where it's always five o'clock. Fuck, I, I can't tell. It is. Oh, it's high. Right. Well, where's, where's your watch? watch? I don't know, let's go with the clock. Yeah, well, the clock is always accurate. I have to mm -hmm. hide it in my ass and smuggle it from Vietnam. Five long years he wore this watch up his ass. That's how we got it here. I hid this uncomfortable hunk of metal up my ass two years. Uh, folks, uh, as you see, we have an epic lineup of tastings here. Uh, we're drinking some Buzzards Roost. Buzard's Ruest? Yeah, yeah. Is that how you say it? That's how you say it in Phoenician. <laughs> now, this B Buzzards is absolutely Ooh. gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Like, look at this beautiful package. See? I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. I'm excited. How much you pay for these, Josh? This was a gift. Oh, I like gifts. Yeah. Uh, from our uh, good friend Rob. And uh, I'll put his info there as well. And we have an order in which to drink it. I thought I put the order up, but I'm not sure if I did now. Okay. Uh, looking back. It can't possibly be at this end. That's the end. That's gotta be the end because this says uh, straight rye whiskey, peated barrel. Yeah. No way we'd start with no. A peat. No. That's, That's what I ended with. So the first one we're gonna start with is the toasted American oak barrel. I was at a party once and someone had a bottle of this and I said, oh, we just got to send some of that. And they said, it's from Bardstown. Anything that comes out of Bardstown is generally pretty good. Yeah. And I said, I don't know because I don't drink enough. Now this is sourced that was sent to Bardstown for right. re-aging. Yeah. Yeah. So basically they're buying three to four year old rye or bourbons from MGP. Yes. Uh, they're not the only one to do that. No. <laughs> we don't care about that. No. Uh, they're sending it over to Bardstown Bourbon Company in Bardstown, Kentucky, where they take one of their new 53 gallon proprietary barrels made by Independent Stave Company Ooh. and rebarrel it. They then age it for about an additional six to eight weeks in that new barrel okay. that is either toasted or toasted then charred to number one. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, so let's get into this and we'll try to move uh, fairly quickly through them. So. <laughs> The first one's delicious. What's the ABVs? Do we know? Does it say on these? It says it on the bottle. Bottom left, right there. Oh yeah, 52.5. 52.5. We got our trusty Glenn Farkless drug. Sorry, I almost it's okay. flipped everyone over there. Please, no. <laughs> so yeah, uh, starting off, fantastic. This is delicious bourbon. You like bourbon? Mm-hmm, I love it. It's hot, which you would expect from hot, that ABV, but mm-hmm. I'm just gonna add a little mm. touch of water and uh, just a touch and I'll come back to this one. And I'm gonna move right into the next one here. Sure. Yep, let's um, do that. So the next we have the char number one bourbon. They're referring to the level, how much they've burnt the whiskey barrel before they've uh, put more spirit back into it. The nose is uh, softer to me. Yeah, more subtle, but more oak. Subtle mm. oakiness. This is oak. So much more oak. Like. The first one I found to be uh, very scratchy and pungent and really delicious. This one's toned down a notch to me. I like Smoky. this one better. I like the first one. I'll take the first one. We know one that's so gonna far. happen. We're not, we're not yeah. gonna agree on what's the best out of these. No, <laughs> not, a <laughs> chance, yeah. not a chance. <laughs> so, again, we're just going to, I'm just gonna put it aside. I'm gonna add some water to mine and put it aside here. And um, Move straight on to, which I think you have some information on. This is the straight rye. This is the toasted barrel. Nothing special or specific about this one. So just the fact that they sent it to Bardstown. Oh, I like the and, smell of this uh, one. It was aged in whole barrels instead of steaks. This one's got a rubber hose kind of smell to it. Yeah, I really like this. Mm. Yeah, it's like more uh, vibrant than the first two. It's got a plumber's glue. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> cool, cool note. Yeah. No. That's strong. What's Is the... that one also 52.5? Mm -hmm. uh, 52.5. Wow. Yeah. This one I, mm. I have it's a hard time good. with. Maybe need some water in that? Oh, yeah. And then I'll yeah. try it. Um, do you want me to do it? Yeah, thanks. I, uh, I don't that care for that strong. one. I like it. I, I like the smell of it, but the The smell is different. Is so hard. rye, not for you so far. Okay. Mm. 
To me, number one is still in the lead here. No. Nope. Yeah, not a fan of that one. Can't mm. be at that. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Um, let's go straight into the next here. This is still okay. rye. This is the straight rye whiskey. Ooh. Oh, this one's got a touch of something. Something weird. Touch of poo on this one. Yeah, yeah, like a touch of nasty. <laughs> a little touch of poo. Mm, I like it. You can tell me, nasty little boy. I like that. I don't know what that is. Mmm. Oh! When was the last time you changed your diaper? Um. Mmm. <laughs> that one's really good. Okay, I'll touch water. Really good. That one oh, tastes like better than it one. smells. Yeah. All right. You did? I like this. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. This yeah, one yeah. too. Tastes way better than it smells. I think this is the winner so far for me. Jeez, mm. I, I, I still love that number one though. That's yeah. really nice. Number one is my pick so yeah. far. Yeah. I think so this is their yeah. straight rye char number one. This is straight rye, mm -hmm. and then the next is going to be char number one. Okay. Yeah. And what's the APV on that one? This is same, uh, same. ABV 57. Ooh. This one's the highest one out of all. The one we just. Nope. The straight yeah. rye. The straight okay. Rye. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Very nice. Wow. What say you? That Very nice. Made me like it more. It tastes better mm -hmm. than it smells. That's all I can say. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm. I agree with you. Okay. Okay. Hey. Right into the uh, char here. Yeah. This is the char rye. Mm -hmm. It's aged in whole barrels, which is cool. <sighs> nice nose. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, that's that like bad. fancy smell. Mm. That one's got a bit of cake icing too. Oh yeah. It's got a strange texture to it, like the legs seem thicker or something. Okay. Yep, me too. Mmm. Mm. It's got a sweetness to it. It's, yeah. It's kind of similar to the straight rye we just did. Yeah, I find, find uh, it is very similar, just a touch sweeter. Because the Lord is the sweetness. Mm. Yo. Um, I prefer this one. This is my second favorite so far. Mm. This is swiping in and taking first for me, I think. Very nice. So I'm just going to add another little touch of water here. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. No, it's still number two for me. Yeah, that's really nice. Mm. I like that a lot. Yeah. Okay, moving along. Uh, I know we're hurrying this up. You know, if it was an evening, which we will spend later, uh, drastically analyzing these one by one. Mm -hmm. uh, we wouldn't be going so fast. But I also want to note, it's notable. Notable. That this one package serves three people to do a flight, no problem. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. So one person, did. if you wanted to deep dive, two people could easily do it, but three, we had no trouble splitting nope. one package between three of us. Well, it's still giving me enough to go back and revisit that's it too. Nice. So this is the... Is this a cigar one? Cigar rye right. is the one I'm excited for. Yeah. So I can, I can tell you a little bit about this one. Yes. Cigar rye right is the same thing as the peated rye, except they use Kentucky whole leaf tobacco, and it's fucking delicious. That's, oh. that's what the note is. That's a direct quote, actually. Oh, the now, smell is like... smells awesome. I love cigar-based whiskeys, whether they are made to pair with a cigar, or whether they're influenced with tobacco, or they're done in, in tobacco uh, yeah. Yeah. barrels. I'm with you. I enjoy whiskey aged tobacco that are aged in, in whiskey barrels, like everything about it. So we're just a bunch of degenerates, so. so. Quite frankly, if you say cigar on your package, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, go yeah, I'm gonna try it for sure. I think I have five or six, including like the Dalmores, the old and the yeah. new. I got oh, a few other different oldies. cigar. Oh, I think yeah. this is the first one, unless I'm wrong and mm -hmm. I've missed something. Is this not the first one that I would have had that would have been aged cigar like? I don't uh, think with I have. Us, I yeah, think. With, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have for a, sure. It's good. Oh, it's I like wonderful. It. Mm -hmm. I agree. It's so very wonderful. Yeah, I'd say this is probably your first. Do you like it? Oh, I'm a fan. Yeah, shit, I really do. I'm a big fan. Cool. Mm -hmm. It's got a weird smoke to it. Yeah, it does. Like, can it compete mm, with my like favorite number two so mm. far? Mm. Mm, that's very nice. Now, number two for you was your favorite. This has taken my top spot. I like this one a lot. Mmm, that's very, very good. I like it a lot too. What is mm. the ABV on that one? Same, I think. 52.5, yes nope, sir. Nope. Well, that'll take us right into the final one. The Peat It, to which I am uh, very excited. So excited to try. And okay. also, 52.5. So, Buzzard's Roost Peated Rye 
Uh, they cold smoke peat logs from Scotland and pump it into the barrel after they toast it and charge yeah. to number one. <laughs> then they put the aged rye back in for about six to eight weeks. Very cool. All right. Oh, don't care for that smell. Love that smell. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's that's pooey. Oh, I'm into that. It's pooey. To me, it's ashy. Mm. Let's give it a tasty poo, shall we? <sighs> I gotta be very careful because this glass is broken. Careful. No. It happens. Yep, bad nose. Oh, that's yummy. Is, is Am I getting the bad glasses again? Is that a possibility? I don't know, take my glass. Give me yours. Switch it up. Yeah, it's different. I don't, I don't like it. I don't know. It's like, I like it. the th third one we did. Mm-mm-mm, yum. Mm -mm. I'm feeling put this. some water in it. I put I a lot I, of water I in it. I think I put a touch of water into that too. I gotta throw away my, uh, one of my favorites, Scotch Malt Whiskey Society glasses. I like the taste on this. Um, mm -hmm. This might be my third favorite. I, mm -hmm. I think for me, it's the my third favorite. Number well. two, the cigar rye. What's the number two again? Number two is number one char bourbon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So number two, number one char bourbon. Number one char the bourbon. Cigar malt and this peated. Cigar malt peated. Mm. What's yours? I gotta go with the cigar. Is my favorite. Cigar is your favorite. Okay. And nice. then. The one, was it the straight rye that was 57%? The straight rye was 57, yes. Yeah, so the straight rye would be my second. And if I had to pick, uh, would be the very first one we did. Which one was that? That, that was, the, was the bourbon. Bourbon, yeah. So for me, I got to give it to the cigar malt. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, my second favorite, I think, would be the straight rye. Mm -hmm. And then my third favorite is going to be either the bourbon or the peat, and I'm having a hard time uh, picking. So, peat it. Oh, the peat it. Yeah. Oh, just we were a, almost completely Just a aligned. narrow, narrow margin, though. Yeah. Because I really like this. Now, what would I buy? What would you buy? What would you buy? So, in this lineup, if you had to pick three bottles to purchase, would it be your first, second, and third choice? Yeah. Even though I like the number two more, I feel like I've got enough that are very similar to that, mm. I would buy the Cigar Mall. Cool. I'm, I would definitely go buy my Straight Rye. Yeah, I would buy the Cigar Malt and I would buy the Straight Rye. Mm. Yeah, very nice, mm. very tasty. Mm -hmm. I so think we don't have any prices, but as far as I understand, yeah. these are not over the top expensive. I don't have exact prices. We're just doing a heathen brew here too. Is that what we're gonna do? Yeah, just so everybody knows. I wanna enjoy you the cigar wine a little bit You don't more. have to. I'm gonna do, this is what we do at the end of every tasting. Mm -hmm. uh, some people are very pretentious and they'll kick us the hell out. <laughs> and that's okay. Some stand around and watch. Some stand around and watch. Most join in. Yeah. And they like to uh, give it a little go at the end and then mix them all together. Seems to be what they're lo waiting for at the end of our tasting yeah, these days. Yeah, that's what eh? we call the heathen brew. They're waiting for it, Trish. I agree. Yeah. Everyone wants to know, right? <laughs> yeah, get it, Beckett. Even Beckett's into it. So we let it sit for six to eight months, and through the magic of television, <laughs> <laughs> here it is. <laughs> Let's try her out. Uh, mine smells fucking awesome. Does it really? It yeah. does, yeah, even with that. Ooh. Oh, oh my maple god, it's like. maple No way, are you serious? Yes. Oh man, yum. Maple, caramel. Yep, maple, caramel. Fucking all the things good. I yes. get more cake fondant. Oh, oh totally, shit. right in the background. Let's oh taste it, okay. let's taste it. Oh my sweet Jesus, mm. that's delicious. Mm. So good. <laughs> what? So good. Unbelievably delicious. So buy every single one of the buzzer truths, mix them together. It's got a cinnamon heart kind I of plunk going on here or something. That. That's those high ABVs because we just basically bumped this up to almost, what, 55, <sighs> 56? Fantastic. We got uh, Drinks Inc. Rob, thank you so much for this, Buzzards Roost. Uh, we highly appreciate you all. And we do appreciate getting to taste fine ass whiskeys for free. Mm -hmm. And even though they were free, um, you know, you still got to be truthful. So sometimes it sucks because they suck. 
Hey, but, uh, some of them got that touch of poo. Some of them got a touch of poo. I'm into poo. I don't mind that. <laughs> I love Sherry Poo. Yeah, they call him Josh Scat Play War. Yeah. <laughs> Sherry Scat. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you can't love them all, but I think this was an overwhelmingly successful tasting. I guess I have only seen two of them on the shelves, though, full bottles. Yeah, there, so, there's others trickling in. Yeah, is that what's yeah, happening? Certain ones so will be available. new to Canada, here. basically? Some. Uh, I think the straight raw here will be I got it available for, soon. Well, I'm pretty sure I just got it for Christmas. I haven't opened it yet. Maybe I'm you did. positive I did. Maybe you did. Yeah. Well, then. Yeah, it's available in other markets as well. So yeah, folks, uh, Buzzards Roost, well done. Yeah. Yo, yes. uh, cheers. Yeah, again, Rob, thank you so much. Thank Insane. you. Keep yep. making cigar malts. Yeah, mm. that cigar malt, that was something special. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great, that was really good. <sighs> great, you know what that was good. <laughs> I'm impressed, I'm highly impressed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's up? We should do a giveaway with this. I'd love to. One of our producers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>